Yes, yes, AJ here from Just Teaching Stuff. Hope you guys are well. Guys, I want to show you exactly how to produce an image using Leonardo AI super, super quickly, guys. Do check out my channel for my playlist to produce all kinds of things, guys. I use Midjourney AI, all sorts of things to get that amazing passive income to sell these digital products. And don't forget, guys, if you love the video, please hit like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. But let's get going with this amazing video, guys. It's real quick. So once you've um, signed up, logged into Leonardo AI, all you need to do is you come to the dashboard. So this is the dashboard that you come to. And just so you know, you've got different elements here. You've got image generation, which is where you produce your image prompts to get your images. You've got real-time canvas. You've got canvas editor, uh, motion, real-time generation. These are not really related if you want to produce an image from a, a, a prompt. Uh, these are other things that I will go into in other videos, but I don't really want to kind of confuse you. Um, so we'll leave the others for now. And the main thing we're focused on is image generation for today. Um, what you'll also see on your dashboard is all of these are images produced by the community, other people that use Leonardo AI. And what Leonardo does, it showcases a lot of these. And you can filter these to, for different categories. You've got animals, for example. Um, you've got architecture, character, food, and uh, so cool. So, you know, it's, it's really, really good to see also what other people are doing. And the reason why I say this is if there's something that you're interested in, a certain style. So, for example, if it's like this sort of cat logo <laughs> style that could be used as a T-shirt design. You get an idea to see what the prompt used for this is. And what's a, another amazing feature is that it shows you other bits that they've added to it. So, for example, you have other presets or models that you can render it with. And you can see that um, there are other things, what they've chosen, what this person has chosen to use in addition to the prompt that they put in, which is fantastic because it gives you a really good idea of how this person created this, right? That's just a little sort of side note. Um, but yeah, so I think that's important to go to showcase, just have a look. But let's get to image generation, right? You don't really need to focus too much on anything on the side because actually all of this stuff on the side is exactly the same as here. It's got image generation, which is there, real-time canvas, which is there, canvas editor, and so on. Okay. Um, but for today, like I said, image generation is the most important thing. Then you've got your personal feed, which is the designs you've done previously. Now, like I said, you got your tokens here. You always get about 150 uh, tokens every single day, which renews, which is fabuloso. Um, but if you wanted to upgrade, and I think if you are doing loads and loads of designs, upgrading is pretty cool. $12 a month is really cool for the first or standard one. Check out free access to Leonardo AI just there on my description right at the top uh, to try it out. But I definitely think stick with the free one if you're if you're like just sort of trying it out and like designing now and then 150 tokens not too bad every day um but yeah what we'll do is let's jump into image generation so click that right at the top um and obviously these are some designs i've previously done my um what you get is you get your bar here where you type in your prompt and then you have some other features underneath it which are things filters models which you can use to help you with your design you even have more here, which are other dynamic styles. You've got illustrative style, rendering, sketching, vibrant, anime, all different additional modeling, uh, stylization, if you like. And then you've got even more elements even here at the top where you've got these ones, which you can add other elements, vintage, cybertech, or kids illustration. So there's many things, but obviously these take tokens and these cost, especially, you know, if you've got your... If you've got your, um, you know, especially if you've got your freebie, they will take quite a few of them. Then on the side, you've got how many images you want to produce. But I traditionally like to stick to four images just to see which one I want out of the four. You can go for a photorealistic one if you check this box. I don't. Alchemy is obviously the type of, uh, again, added features you can do. You've got input dimensions, which is the size of your image, which you can choose from. You've also got more features, advanced features, where you can choose what pixels and size you want for your image, which is really cool. But again, some of these do take tokens, just so you're aware. So keep an eye on the tokens in the corner. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is to produce an image. Now, remember what I said, however detailed you are, the more detailed you are, the more refined, I guess, the design will be. 
Now I've I've typed something in already and I'm going to paste it. I've written something and I'm going to do a simple dinosaur, cute dinosaur watercolor style uh, image. Um, and I put down jungle background, nice blue clouds and so on, right? So I've got something specific in my mind, which I want, possibly some kind of clip art that I can sell as digital products. Obviously, you type in the wording to what you want to produce, okay? I've done mine and I've just typed it in. And then all I need to do is click generate. And for this one, it's going to use 20 tokens. So let's just go ahead and have a look. I'm going to click generate now. Okay, what's going to happen is it's going to generate my designs. I just went over to generation history, where it's going to generate all my designs. You can see that they're just sort of working away right now. All four of the designs. It's going to give me four different ideas to see which one maybe that I would like, hopefully. Now, like I said, I can go into way more detail in terms of the prompt, or I could go in less detail. I think the more detail you put is the more that you'll get, you know, kind of thing some ideas what you want to see on there <laughs> some smiling little dinosaur mate look at that well oh, these are quite cute look at truly watercolor style this is a really nice one actually it's a pink dinosaur look at that amazing is that actually amazing look at that beautiful design crisp design now what's great about this obviously you can just instantly down download that now what you got, what you got to remember is at the minute where is the, the 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 design is is not upscaled enough for you to use it fully. It's a fantastic design, but in terms of like you know the kind of quality um, that you probably you may need, you may need the quality to be better if you need you know upscaled. So what you've got is here you've got you can just let me tell you some of the features at the bottom. You can actually put it to your clipboard. You can actually remove the background. So this white background possibly or any other background you could remove. Uh, if it doesn't remove it, you can always take it into another software and remove it further like Canva or anything else. Um, but you can remove the background here where it says, but it will cost you tokens, it actually tells you. It costs two tokens to remove the background. Um, but then you've also got the upscaling feature, the Alchemy Smooth Upscaler, which again uses tokens. That, that one costs five tokens actually. Uh, other upscalers which also uses tokens to um, upscale. This is the Alchemy Crisp upscaler. So what I'm saying is you will probably definitely need to upscale, especially if you want to sell the images onto something like Etsy and you need that resolution to be fantastic. Um, so definitely bear that in mind because this is where, you know, you'd have to weigh up whether it might be worth upgrading to something like a subscription rather than um, paying these tokens if you're going to be creating lots of images. But guys, it's so simple, guys. It's so simple. I love the dashboard and I even love the way um I love the way everything is in terms of like uh the you know how simple everything is. This is something that I created before earlier. These beautiful bunny for Easter watercolor designs, absolutely gorgeous. Um and then I did some logo designs for a t shirt I'll show you very quickly earlier. This is absolutely fabulous. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, the prompt with this one is probably, it was a little bit more detailed, but this is something else that I produced. But like I said, creating these are absolutely amazing. And it has so many additional features that you can use, which are, which are these ones. You literally write your prompt and then underneath the bar, there are three other additional things that you can add to it at the time of doing this video, um, where you can sort of add some more um, stylizations to it, really more modeling to it which makes it look even better there's also other things on the side where you can make something look even photo real um, and obviously you've got your sizing and dimensions which you can choose and input yourself so guys it really is very easy and straightforward to create images using leonardo ai it's way 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 easier than some other ones so i definitely recommend it definitely try it out i would try it out for free check out the link in my description just play around with it you know you got 100 like i said you got 150 tokens a day and literally you can actually it's enough to play around with so guys i hope you liked the video if you did like the video please hit a like subscribe smash that notification bell and i shall see you on the next one take care